you know why he went to auction? I'm guessing this is why. Oh, sounds like it's struggling. You could shave with that. I think they're trying to... Oh! Ponytails Refuge is a full circle of life shelter founded in 2014. As a full circle of life shelter, we take in any horse, mule, donkey, or pony, no matter their age, size, breed, or training. Regardless of their background, we have never turned an animal in need away. Even after 10 years and over 1,100 animals that have come through our gates, you just never know what's going to happen. These are the horse rescue tales from the tundra. So we'll start with Miss Sunny. She was adopted out and returned. Um, no really health issues. Okay. Just an overall new, new vet eval. Here she'd be safe, so. Oh, Sunny. Hi. She's Hi. not behind you anymore. Yeah, it's just me. I know, almost as bad, but. <laughs> so we just had Dave take a peek at the notes from the previous adopter's vet. Basic view of the hoof wall, I don't see. I don't look horrible right now. It's hard to tell with shoes on, of course, but... She was on a good path. Yeah. She like, didn't look ouchy moving when she walked her out 10 feet. Not that we went very far, but... Here's your girl. You pick up your back feet, or that... Keep it up your back. Come on. Here we go. Easy. There we go. It's interesting, on the... I think I said back left stifle had effusion and wouldn't pick up. Easy. You're okay. If that's the case, it'd be right here. It might be a little bit better still. But she picked it up easily. I'm just curious to compare. Pull forward. Don't push back on me. You're just a lug girl. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's for sure a little perfusion, but not a lot in that stifle. Here. Can you lift this one up, girl? Thank you. Easy. Easy. There we go. Easy. You can set it down. Here it goes, honey. I'm just curious with their history. It feels like the problem has resolved in her stifle because I don't really. That it has? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure there might be a chronic arthritis or something there, but like she has full flexion in both legs and she didn't seem more hesitant one than the other to. Damn girl. So up next is Doug. Not the draft. Not draft. Not the draft, Doug. Oh, you're, you're shaggy. I think she said he was supposed to be 25. Mm -hmm. So old horse hair, hair coat. He's supposed to have some arthritis. Yeah, he did. Not as bad as Molly, but not as bad as Molly. Just a little thick. That'll heal. A little blue coat. Yeah. Um, and then she said he just has lumps all over and on his back legs. So. Like, yeah. She said there were a bunch of knobs, bumps, basically. Ouch, you can just hear them. And that was the walking. arthritis. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey, look at your teeth, Ares. Oh, oh, you can. Sorry. Hello. Is it 25 on him? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not going to argue, especially if they know his age, but teeth look more like 21. I don't think she was certain. Well, you know, if you look at the I galvan guess. groove, they're just barely starting to come into wear. Mm -hmm. so that'd be about 
21 so, is what I'd say. We'll call you 20 plus, bud. Yeah. He's over 20 yeah. still. <laughs> I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, no. but 20 to 25, you might get five more years. Yeah. yeah. 20 plus it is. <laughs> I thought maybe yeah. so, yeah. Some Scraggly, we, aren't, we don't have a ton of muscling. We got a shaggy hair coat. We haven't shed up well. I'm not saying. In our 20s. Yeah, we're in our 20s. We got Cushing's bed. Says I don't know. Sometimes I struggle with Cushing's, not saying it's not a problem, but I feel like you treat it. You got arthritis, that's for sure. You treat it, and then it's like that some horses crash. And then other horses do way better, but. It's, Especially on really old horses. I'm like, well, is it going to extend their... What are you getting mad for? Oh, okay. I was just watching his ears. Got ouchie, bud. Oh. Well, he's sure got arthritis up front here, too. He's got a significant arthritis right here. Like the, in the carpal joints. Hi, Bob. Some scars along his butt. Hey, Bob, can you lift it up? Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. That ouchie, buddy. Hawks are like dropped a little, aren't they? Yeah. Like this one, Bob? Come on. Easy. Easy. We need that in the kneecap. Ooh. That does not have great flexion, like. No, it's not. That's like as flexed as I can get it without really stressing them. I'm pretty sure his hocks and stifles have significant arthritis and ligament laxity too. That's why he's dropped on his hocks pretty bad. And it probably hurts too. Well, you can see it hurts when I picked him up. I don't think he's trying to be mean. I think it's just ouchy. Yeah. Well, bud. All right, so up next is Fred. Fred, the draft. This one is a draft. You are a BP draft. <laughs> no, the, um, the neighbors had him, and Got they some. were going to send him to auction, and their neighbors didn't want that to happen, so they took him, but then they just didn't really have the space for him anymore. You've got long toes, sir. They tried to work Couldn't with him. Couldn't get his feet, his feet done. Up, Do you not pick your feet up well, or mm -hmm. I bet you probably just need a strong hand? And probably stocks would be helpful. Yeah, stock, yeah. <laughs> Fred. Can I look, Fred, at your teeth? Oh, oh. my goodness. You're a cribber? Not what I was expecting, sir. No. Were you eating Doug? He's over 20. They said 22. Like, yeah. yeah, I'd say 21, 22. That'd fit with what his teeth look like. You see those top teeth, like a yeah. creeping almost teeth from being worn on, rubbing it on things? Yeah. Oh, Fred. Can I see the rest of your teeth? Here. Don't bite me. Well, he's got points on him. Okay. But he doesn't look like he's exactly lean. Ooh. <laughs> Is it watery? Watery poop. Like, like fecal water or like just straight water? Not straight water. Like I cow pies or? Yeah. I started him on bio sponge today to see if that'll help dry anything off. Yeah, I like the bio sponge or the basically like sand clear psyllium too is similar to that. I did notice this morning as poops overnight looks. <clears throat> more solid than they have been. They are looking better, yeah. But like how, how many food changes has he had in the past? 
yeah, you know, that month. Was just a, yeah. I guess can sometimes be the issue is we switch four foods in a month and mm-hmm. it's I like. Uh, <laughs> We're not that bad anymore. <laughs> yeah. Did you do a fecal uh, egg count on him? Where was he at there? I, I want we he did. Zero. He was only 20. 25 or zero? He was 25 you know, or zero. Sometimes they get this because they've been overly warm, too. Like well, They get warmed you? everywhere they go. Fred All right, but do we see though. how do you, your draft feet work? Hey, up, 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 up. You can pick up your feet. They just didn't do them. Just didn't do it right. Oh, look at it. He picks his feet beautifully. I think this horse hasn't been worked that hard. Like He's, he's not that arthritic or like, icky, you know, icky feeling on his joints for an old draft. I think you've had a pretty easy life of it, buddy. <laughs> he does look like Eeyore. <laughs> yeah. But like just feeling his joints and stuff, he doesn't feel like a horse that... Yeah, I think he still got tread on his tires. Like he's not arthritic. He's not. He's a good dude, huh? Hey. Come on. Mm-hmm. And he has points in his nose. Easy. Mm-hmm. Hey. Easy. Oh no, no, Doug. Or Easy. Fred. Fred. Goodness. I feel like the name. You pick up your feet better than my horse. Same. <laughs> I think you could trim him without stocks. <laughs> there. All right, Bob. Come here. Don't lean in. He says, I'm gonna. He <laughs> says, I don't know. I feel like they're all missing right now. Good job, Fred. You're too good. <laughs> Taking him back with you. <laughs> You're a pretty cool horse. Like I said, for a 21-year-old draft, he's still got some tread on his tire to get his feet looking good. Mm-hmm. He doesn't seem that arthritic. He doesn't have, you know, issues with his... His feet otherwise, like he doesn't have elephantitis, he doesn't seem to have scabs or anything down there. Yeah. Perfect. Hit him with some ace and yeah. see if we can relax see if things. He's got two nuts, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't want him to do any breeding, but they want to breed their mare with him. No, we don't want to do breeding, we just want to breed our mare once. So, so we won't a, like be breeding him. It's a no, but it was yeah. a funny statement. He won't be breeding, we just want to breed our mare. It was quite contradicting. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Credence. There you go, you got it. Good job, buddy. A little bit more. Very good, Credence. Are you doing being brave, little boy? Look at how gangly you are. <laughs> like a year and a half to two, or what is he at? Yearling. Yeah, he wasn't even a year and a half. Okay. Right. Yeah, a little snotty nose, though, huh? Ooh. Yes, you do. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, is it scary? You're okay. He says this human's as tall as me. (laughs) You're okay. Easy. You're okay. Easy. You're okay. Looks like there's one on the other side, but I don't see one on this side. Touch it in a minute, but I'm going to give him a minute more to relax. Do you know why he went to auction? Uh-uh. I'm guessing this is why. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, one's pretty, you know, pretty relaxed. I can feel it real easy. But a lot of these, um, you know, 
Sometimes the Amish will just do that where they're like, oh, Kryptor could tell them quick. There's no scar tissue or anything like the Native Arkansas woman? That's what I'm feeling here. Either there's a really little testicle here. I think there's something there. It's like, it's like this big though. The other one's like this big. It's like this big. Well, time or you just cut them and you go get it. Meaning if I can feel that little bit, if it's there, I can pull it out. If I don't feel anything, I won't cut, but well, I feel something that feels like it's like really small, though. The weird part about him, it's not like I don't feel anything. It's like this big and the other one's like this big. And I don't know if it came down later. That's why it's so small. Just for curiosity, do you want to feel it quick so you know what I'm talking about or not? not you don't have really. to. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm the only one who likes to feel junk. Okay, well. Kristen too. <laughs> okay, well, Kristen and I, perfect. <laughs> so I would say small one, if it was, I would say personally, I would be willing to lay them down and castrate them. I'd go for that side first and make sure I can fish something out that looks like a testicle. Mm -hmm. feels really small, it's only this big, but to me it feels like there's something there that I could go after. Either they, someone cut that side and there's scar tissue there, or it's the testicle that's came down late and is really small. The only way you really know is to lay them down. Or yeah. Them to still water. Yep. And again, you could just send them to still water, and that might be all they find. Or, you know, I always say it's a risk reward thing. If we lay them down, I go to that side first, I pull it out, and it's like, yep, it's a miniature testicle, or yep, there's a old, you know, scar tissue testicle here. And then we take it, and we're good to go. We lay them down, I can't find it. I dig around. Just let them wake up we wake them, them up, and then you take them to still water. So, again, your call. <laughs> Um, but I would be willing to lay him down with what I'm feeling. So Ray's got Fred out here. We're going to do his first evaluation today, riding evaluation. He checked out pretty good with the vet. We do still got to get those feet done, so it's just going to be a light eval today, but see what this guy knows. All right, Mr. Fred is all groomed up. We're going to head down to the round pen. All right, we're going to the arena because this is ick. Come on, buddy. <laughs> so Ray's just lunging him out here, seeing if he knows how. Let's keep walking. His poor feet are slipping. Oh. He gets the concept. Boy. Back. Back. Good. Stiff for an old guy. All right, buddy. Let's see what you think. No. Oh. Oh. Put us right in the mud. Oh. 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 No. No. Patience. Now you can walk. Were you here for Ed and Eileen and them? Um. And um, oh, that gray perch, that big one, um, started with a G. I don't think so. He reminds me of Ed. Oh. Gacy. 
Ed's the one that comes on our trail ride, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Or, no, I've seen pictures of him in the I'm alumni, alumni group. page. Yep, yes, yep, yep. That's quite right. the star. <laughs> he does he, look like him. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably about as fast as he'll go. <laughs> A little spicy. I'm more than satisfied. You can't just stop by Marissa though. Look at him go. Go away. No, we're not done. <laughs> Riding them back up to the barn. No grass. Well, this will be a good learning lesson. Right. Slow and steady. <laughs> Wins the race. Yep. You beat us for once. <laughs> I did. Oh. Good Boy. dude. So it looks like it's nap time for everyone in the barn. Daphne's napping. Sugar Plum's napping. And Sunny's napping. <laughs> it's that kind of day. It's beautiful out. One, two, three. I said, of course, to the horse. Beautiful. All right, Sass. Step. Very good. Good job, honey. You riding back there, Mark? <laughs> so we had a surprise showing today. Um, they came out here. They met Sunny and Penny. Um, and it kind of seemed like Penny was more so who they were going for. So they went home to talk about it. They didn't live far and they called not too long after and they're hooking up the trailer and on their way to come pick her up. So, yay Penny. One, two, three. I said yes to the horse, of course. Ah, okay. yes. Cute. <laughs> Got it, Penny. Very good. So Nate went and picked up uh, this drag today that he won on an auction the other day. I'm just going to try to move back a little bit so you can hear me. Um, we're going to use it to drag the pastures. Uh, we have a little four foot one, but some of the pastures are huge and it would, by the time you got done dragging it would be time to drag it again. Um, so we got this one, it should work a lot better. Yeah, no kidding. He'll have to use the tractor for it, but um, I'm excited to get the tractors, or <laughs> the tractors. I'm excited to get the pastures drug and maybe even seeded. I try pulling it. That works. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yay. I guess he's going to hook up to it too. Maybe he's going to I was gonna get in the gates, but he has an idea, I guess. It's windy again, I'm just trying to keep 
out of the wind. The wind out of the microphone anyway. Best I can. needs to learn how to turn off. Oh, you didn't? Oh, sounds like it's struggling. <laughs> Are you going to try it out? Oh, alright. Think the boss will let you? How it goes. So the gates on this pasture are plenty big. This is a 12 foot gate, but um, most of the other ones are 10 feet and we even have two or three eight foot ones just to make the hub of all the pastures work. Um, but he has a plan for getting it in the smaller ones and and honestly, you know, some of the smaller ones, you know, wouldn't be too hard to do with uh, the smaller drag and the mule, but this is gonna make quick work, nice pastures. I'm super, super excited, yay. Uh, spreading everything out real nice. Got rid of clumps of dried up mud and poo. fast. You could probably get this whole pasture done in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I think you probably want to go over it well, yeah. a few times to get everything broke up, but, but it should. But once we get caught up on it, it wouldn't yeah, it take much. Take the grass. Go a lot faster 10 feet at a time than 4 feet at a time with the yeah. little thing behind them that always gets tangled up and falls apart. Yep. Good awesome. $100, good $100 investment, I guess. Should be. So Mr. Dakota here has someone here meeting him. You're so stinking cute. <laughs> we think this home might be the one, personal opinions. So hopefully Dakota and the adopter agree. Oh, dude, you're cute. Hi, little dude. You're pretty cute. What did he, so he was with a bunch of draft horses. Did they ride him or do anything when he was with them or did he just sit around most of his life? He was a pet for the kids. He's adorable. And if I remember right, the kids kind of got out of horses pretty quickly and so he sat. Can I look at your teeth quick? Hmm? Yeah. Well, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. 
Does he pick, I don't want to make you do it because he's muddy. Does he pick up a seat yeah, pretty good? He does. Oh, he's, yeah. just a, he's just the right size. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Are you a good dude? He says I try to be. You could hang out with Harry. <laughs> you wouldn't have to go buy any little big old mares or anything. I have a blind mini that I've had for 28 years. Oh, wow. I don't sell things. <laughs> they live on my farm. Yeah. I, he came in with a horse years ago, and he went blind, like, uh, just like I had him six months. So my husband, who is not a horse person, says that that's his horse. Oh. So you could hang out with Harry. He's been eating a buddy. Yeah. What do you think? What? Maybe is he, nice to Harry. <laughs> is he spooky or anything, or just? Not necessarily. I mean, he looks pretty comfortable here. Yeah. If anything, just your typical body types. Yeah. He can be kind of lazy on the lunge line. Takes a lot to keep him in a trot. <laughs> he likes Yay. to just kind of mope and walk around. <laughs> lazy is. He's perfect. walked over the bridge and tarps and all stuff like that. He I doesn't mean, seem to mind. Get him riding nice. Seriously, I don't think he'll ever even be cantered. It would be like a kid doing a little walk trot or a little trail ride. Mm -hmm. We've got. I. We farm, so I have quite a bit of land. So we do like little 45 minute loop trail rides. You don't have to work too hard, but you gotta do a little something maybe in the future. We'll play with them and see what we got. What do you think? Oh, oh well, I got your spot. We know your spot already, huh? See, and then I have, you know, I have some girls that help me on the farm that, oh yeah, you, oh buddy, I know it, it is bad. All right, you did okay. You didn't throw your head into me or anything. Yeah, you didn't throw your head into me or anything. Oh, he's just cute, a little red pony. He's such a stout little guy. He is a stout little guy. <laughs> you are just okay. He looks great. I just, I'm worried, a little worried about him traveling in the trailer by himself, but he's been back and forth, so he's been yeah. trailered. By yeah. himself. Okay. Yeah, each time. Okay. If you'd like, you could lead him around or see how he takes a saddle or otherwise, I don't know. This is him. Yeah, up to I you. Know. Yeah, I think I just love him. <laughs> I just thought, so I was really impressed with your website. The way you guys grade the horses, I, I thought, what a great way of doing that. Yeah. And then I didn't see anything and I didn't see anything and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, look at that little pony. <laughs> He's adorable. You want to come see me a little bit? Here, you get back. You back up. There you go. You know what you need, Pony, is you just need a human. You need a human to love you, don't you? I probably have a halter and lead in the trailer, or do you send them off with the halter and lead? If you have one, that would be great. I, 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 I'm sure I have a lead. I'm not sure I have a okay. halter. If you don't, we can always grab you one, but. What do you think, huh? On my feet. But I'm an old lady and I've had four foot surgeries. I'm and like, she didn't wear her boots today, buddy. I, I know. I have boots and jeans and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be 75. I'm just going to throw this. This is what I had on yesterday driving up. We're in Black River Falls. I'm like, I'm just going to throw this on and go. So, and I'm like, okay. but he doesn't seem pushy. No, not at all. No, and if he does get pushy, he's very easily corrected. He has a nice back and knows where he's yeah, supposed to be for the yeah. most part. So I said back. Back up. You're fine. He just Does gets this? a little big for his britches sometimes and needs someone to say, hey, remember your size, little guy. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough? So we just got to make sure. So, you know, I really, I mean, my main thing is not a kicker, you know? I mean, I don't care if he kicks. Some, somebody in the pasture, he's got his right to protect himself. But Yeah, he's never kicked for the barrier, kicked for the bed, anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, anything. that's the main thing. I mean, we can just be careful and watch him if we think he's a little nippy or something at first. We'll be real, really, really careful about treats and stuff like that. Make sure he knows he's, his boundaries right from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, so I never <laughs> let anybody do treats until like right at the end. And sometimes you can't do treats at all, right? you know, a little bit. No, he's a cutie patootie. I'll take him if it's okay with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. he'll be great for what you're looking for. 
if it takes me two years to get him riding the way. I don't think he'll carry this. Yeah, because <laughs> he'll, he'll be older. Yeah. I said, like, my four-year-old grandson likes to just haul his old pony around. And, you know, that pony's 31. And maybe he'll live another 10 years. Maybe he won't, maybe. you know? Maybe. But, they're, they're stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Do you just need, you need a home? You're cute as a button. Um, That's Mama Kitty. Yeah. Do we need to put him back and do some paperwork? Yep, what we'll would you like me to do? Yep, we'll have to do some paperwork. Yep. One, two, three. I said, of course, to the horse. That, uh, that Where are you going, Dakota? Dakota? Very good boy. <laughs> See you later, buddy. It smells like pine. <laughs> Not a bad smell. No, it's not. Bad. Yeah, it's like perfect size. All right, so Polly is here today. It's a lovely rainy day. Um, open audio will be de decent um, with all the noise. We'll find out. What do you think this little box of stuff costs? 20 bucks. 428. What is this? Aluminum shoes, silicone fill pack. Uh, there's some specialty shoes, a couple boxes of nails. Nothing important. And deodorant that fell in there. <laughs> so you were talking about doing like the silicone? Yeah, the Essie pack filler. Or do you want some of that cushion like we have for the boots? I kind of think the echo pack might be better. I can see that stuff maybe like... Because it'll get everywhere. And then it when it firms up, it's... Or settles, it's... I mean, you can squish it all the way. So as much relief as we can for that coffin bone. And we'll do the same for Daphne. Okay. So we should be good. And then it did say something about pre-drilling holes into that. But I think that was just if you're going to do screws. Or do you... Should I get a drill and some bits from Nate? Well, I think we have a drill in a bunch of it. I think we I do. I've got a drill, but I don't think I've got a bit long enough for this. The only bit that I carry is one for doing um, studs for ice, okay. um, which would be probably way too small for that. But yeah, just to play. Well, too, so that drives smoother maybe and doesn't decide to. And a crack or anything. Well, that and shoot out the right way. Then we'd have more issues. Okay, sweet. So Polly's gonna take a peek at Sugar Plum next. See how her feet are looking. You guys remember she had abscesses in all four. She had abscesses in all four, yep, when she arrived here. And um when Polly saw her last, she only had one in the front, and it was a very small one. So, fingers crossed that uh, we're all healed up now, and she can maybe look into going outside. Not today, because it's raining. I've never seen it look like that. Just her hoof in general. I've never seen a huh? I've never seen a hoof look like that. The lamina so stretched and bruised. Oh, wow. Looks a lot better than it did though. Well, you can actually show how stretchy it is. Soft. I mean, yeah. you can squeeze it with your fingers. Better. Still got a little bit of a dip, but a lot better than it was. Progressing at least. Good. 
So actually what this is is basically from the abscess it's like a blood blister that blew or it was a bruise that turned into a blood blister in a sense. Ouch. It's rough. On top of the bruising. Yeah, I mean it's all dead as you can see. Yeah. She she had a pretty rough case of laminitis, holy cow. Sounds good too. I mean, the laminitis is really bad, but other but than the abscess from isn't. what we started with, it's a 200% increase. She still got an abscess in that foot, or is it? It looks like it's dead. It's just a pocket. Okay. I think sugar plum might be abscess for you guys. She'd be flinching if, you know. Right. Yay, sugar. <laughs> Stellar news today. No sugar, sugar. Oh, stop your tail. She good? She's good. All right. Good job, Shug. Yeah, outside would be lovely. Let it dry up a little bit, yeah. so we don't go backwards. Yeah. Six months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got Daphne sedated, we've got her clogs, and uh, we're going to put them on and see what it does. Come on, Daph. So Daphne is sedated, being one, she can be a bit stubborn as we've seen in prior videos, and with the clogs, there's no room for error, so it's a you know, one chance only. You know, if you mess up, it's not good, so if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Perfect. So while Daphne waits for Polly to get his stuff, just going to groom her up. I guess where it's all coming from. Do you think, you got to drill in here if we yep. drill that small hole? I don't know if the nail will go through that. Do you want to come back here and see what? Yeah. They're looking for a tool. What were you guys doing when you left? Oh. We were just pre-drilling some holes. Just kind of a starter for the nail. Um, being it's a little harder plastic, um, we didn't want the nail to bend or shoot in versus out and cause a hot nail or crippler. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. All right, guys, they're going on. Oh, 
It's funny, it actually looks like the bottom of like a person's shoe. Like, just some grip to it. Or like a tire. No, Daphne. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's done. How's that feel? I see the difference. I looked at him and I was like, this is going to be too big. I think it didn't downsize because they wouldn't have fit. It would have been too small, I think. Her walls are just so brittle. So we're going to run three. And we're going to leave the clinches long for extra grab. Daphne, you gotta put in a little effort. <laughs> well, usually the shoe holds it on there and this just slides I on. suppose. <laughs> What's that stuff? Uh, Equipack, it's just a silicone impression material. Um, just to give her a little extra relief. Is that what's going to go in like the little divot of the shoe type? Gotcha. Yeah, between the clog and the frog. Haha. <laughs> 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 It's just on the edge. What are you doing? Putting more holes in it? I'm just going to angle the hole like you would on a shoe. Gotcha. Look on the sides. What? I Too can't... narrow. Her foot? Yeah, I gotta try something different. Too narrow. The bag is her foot. Oh. oh, I see how it was right on the outside. Hmm. I saw what you were. I'm just gonna drill a different angle with a bigger bit. better yeah perfect this is the home stretch girl good awesome. no 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 death she says I'm waking up guys nope. Ooh. Daphne, you can't. Stop it. Got that one? <laughs> Alright, 
Don't you lay down, Daffy. Oh, don't do that either. Alright. We'll let that sit and then everyone keep your fingers crossed. Here we have Fred. He's going to be seen by Polly for the first time today. He's a newer owner surrender. We got a big crack. See that. Wow. Into the stop. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Check it out. He's like, whoa, no. <laughs> you gotta put your head through this part. I promise you'll do it. Right through here, buddy. Uh, uh, uh. Step up. There you go. Bud, last one. You got it. <laughs> Much better. You're all right. No. Fred. It's the last one. Get it done. You got stinky feet, Fred. What? He was long. Yes, he was. You're going to feel much better. done, huh? Yeah. Alright, good job, buddy. Alright, so Brooke's grabbing Miss Janice out. We're gonna start with her and get her clogs put on, hopefully, and some other horses to trim. Yeah, girl, let's get that figured out, alright? Let's see what we can do, babe. You're okay, Janice. Just relax. Let's go slow. Okay, so up next we have Janice. Um, unfortunately though, sedation is not an option due to her being bred. And being so far along, um, that would do more harm to her and baby than good at this point in her pregnancy. So we do have to put her in the stock, and we're just going to give it our best go to get those clogs on. See what we can do for her, huh? What you're doing? So we're just going to drill some holes in the side of the clog. That way we got some nail marks, uh, like pre-drill. That way we're not screwing from the top down and risking, especially if per se the clog comes out, you're ripping a whole chunk of wall with the screw versus just pulling. 
So with her, we're gonna take the safest route possible. All right, here we go, guys. Oh. She says, yes, please help me. Oh. oh, girl. Oh, man. Squishy. Get your phone. Get your phone. You need a light. You need a light. Anybody have a light? Is that it? See this bulge right here? Mm -hmm. Just behind that is that coffin bone. That's why it's so that squishy. Is, that is, well, that's just the coffin bone pushing the soul out. It's, that's, I mean, it's three-ish millimeters. So I think what we're going to do, the safest route is to take the rasp and clean this up. Mm -hmm. And then put that clog on. Okay. I'm trying to clean the frog up a little bit if I can. Oh, poor girl. 
Cindy, you want to see something? Yeah. So here's that, this bulge yeah. is the coffin bone coming through. And here's the deteriorating sole all around the edge. I think we'll clean that up, put that clog on, and we're going to have to spray, some, spray something on there first. It looks like from this angle with that pole, baby, with that hook wall extension, that it, she's probably going to get some decent clearance there, don't you think? Yeah. It's... I'm trying, huh? Yeah. <sighs> that is weird looking. He's like in your way. Janice, honey, you gotta hold still here. Trying to jump. Baby, you can't do that, please. Oh. He's trying to tighten them, I think. Yeah. Hmm? I think they're trying to tighten them. Oh. I think they're trying to tighten them up there. She can't turn her head around. People suck. All of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, smokes, girl. You're going to take this thing down with you. Just remember, guys, we cannot sedate her, so as much as it would be beneficial for this, it's not possible. And hopefully she just calms down. Does that clog fit her foot even? the inside rim, yes. So is this supposed to stick out? No, her... Yeah, like this is... So it's too big. Measure her foot again. Ouch! Yeah, measure her foot. Something's not adding up, or maybe it's supposed to look different than we thought. Maybe it is supposed to go on the inside? On the inside of the... No. No, because that's supposed to be flush. Yeah. Yeah, that's what clearance. Did we measure? Because oh. you were standing next to me when we measured her, right? Somebody was. I can't remember who. That was a seven for sure. And a solid did we measure the other foot or this foot? Or did you measure the shoe? <laughs> I know you were doing that foot with your app on your phone, so I'm assuming that one. And then we got Nate's tape to double check. That's a solid seven though, showing now. Did we measure it with the shoe or without the shoe? I, I can't remember. I think we did with the shoe. It doesn't even touch down on the other side. Can. You got a marker? I mean, I think a decent. What we need.
I can't cut like that. I can. Do you have a skill saw? Sawzall? I feel like I've heard that word. Yeah. I have a sawzall. <laughs> so you're thinking you're gonna try cutting it to the size? At least for now. Let's put something on you, you girl. Just leave yourself a little wiggle room. Case. Cut Don't outside though. Outside, outside the line, not inside the line. It's okay if it's a tad bit big. Yeah. <laughs> huh? yeah. So you got it trimmed down. Yep. Think we can do it now? Yeah. Awesome. All right, okay. guys. Hand me the custom clog. The custom clog. Extra custom clog. Polly's custom clog. Polly's custom clog. Just that on the bottom of it. Alright, now we know this doesn't look perfect guys, but until we can order her the right size, this is what, this is what we gotta do because she needs something on that foot. I customized it. You did. And it doesn't look that bad. If you had the, pro if you had the proper tools, you could have made that look real nice. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. that off. No. Hold still, Janice. It's giving me anxiety too. It's stressful. Quit. <sighs> Honey, just for five seconds, please. Gotta hold still. We're gonna try putting her foot down and then getting the screws in. That might work. It's a fucking screw it says. It's already been a bad day. Come on. <laughs> Don't screw into the stock. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. How many are in that bag left? Those are the last two. I give you eight nails total. Screws. can't move. Can someone like apply? I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Stop. Stop. Janice, honey. Yeah, could you set it on top of it at all? Well, I got the other one set, so I'm just trying to get it to go. Oh, it's not in there. She just keeps moving. Only one in. I think yes, he just pulled that one out. Okay, good. Do you have some? Because they only gave us eight for both shoes. And they're wood screws and they suck. Yeah, yeah it's said. Uh, I think that's what I was talking about, like kind of anchoring with them and then using drywall screws. To like hold it together? To so, like actually just Right. Okay, cool. Well, we'll start with these then. Yeah, we'll need a few more. Oh, 
<laughs> Need more? No, we can anchor with that if she's going to get Oh, that's right. On the other foot, we'll use the other foot. Yes. Okay. Yes. Some Equipack in there, just like you did with Daphne. Think of her that cushion. That's one. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why Polly holds on to them. I'm just trying to get my own protection over here. Yeah. This just sucks. I feel bad for her. That's so fun. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Look at how thin that plate is. They got their money's worth. You can shave with that. No, yeah, seriously, that's like. Is it that bad? I mean, it's borderline. Damn. Wow. It's almost like taking the top off of a can of soup or something. <laughs> that's the that's the direction it was headed. Yeah. Now I can get closer. What you got shaking here? No, we haven't dove into this foot yet. Oh boy. God damn it. yourself woman what what she's slipping she's got it she fixed it okay let me continue is that what i think it is like is that i can't get that close i don't know She didn't. Or does she just have a massive abscess in this foot? Oh, girl. That's an abscess on this one. What? Talk to me. Slipping on that other foot again. So that abscess undermined the whole frog. There's a part of it. Yeah. That is the raw frog. Let's get her 
That one looks like it fits better than the other one did. Cut a little off the back. If you just give us the foot, yes, you'll be done in two minutes. No, 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 Janice. No, honey. Just relax, just relax. How does that feel? That actually looks a little normal. <laughs> Granted, you've got two inch heels on. You did it. See how she walks, right? Back's done. Let's see what this does first. All right, Janice. Not bad. I don't think we need to At least no more today. <laughs> Worry about the backs at a later time. She she good to come out then, Polly? All right. Ready, Brooke? She walks. Come on, Janice. You can't turn just yet. <laughs> Got to back all the way out, honey. Very good. She says, can't I just turn around? Very good. What do you think? You take a couple steps. Jumping as much with her hind end. Still trying to walk on her heel. Yeah. yeah. I'd say I'd say I see at least a little bit of an improvement. Very slight, but I think she's gotta figure out how to walk normally too. Yeah. What do you think? Can we try these out? Got it, girl. It won't be slippery in there. There you go, honey. Come on, keep going. There you go, girl. 